First tonight at six, Grounded, a balloon company operating in southern Wisconsin, files for bankruptcy, leaving customers out hundreds of dollars. There could be numerous victims of the Great American Balloon Company. Good evening. I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Michelle Lee. We've been investigating the claims of two Moston senior citizens who had tried to fly with the company eight times over the last year and a half, and each time they were canceled on. Well, News 3 investigative reporter Adam Schrager tells us the women were hoping their ninth time would be the charm this Friday. We're standing right by the parking lot across from East Town Mall where Helen McDonald and Ed Olson and all of the customers of the Great American Balloon Company were supposed to pick up their ride. We know for sure that no one over the last three weeks has gotten any ride and there's some question as to whether the company has flown at all this summer. Now this bankruptcy means all of these customers are going to be introduced to a different kind of hot air. It sounded beautiful. The sunrise. As she approached her 75th birthday, Helen McDonald sought to touch the sky. My kid said, what's on your bucket list? And I said, I want to go up in the balloon. She asked her friend Annette Olson to join her. Four other friends wanted in too. I checked with the girls and we decided to buy the tickets. Helen is now going on 77. We just had everything lined up perfectly. And the tickets have yet to be honored. My bucket list is really confused right now. <laughs> Eight times since last summer, they booked flights. Thank you for calling your Bloomport flight information line. Eight times the Great American Balloon Company canceled those flights. 26th of July in 2012. August 20th of 2012, we were booked. We were booked September 7th of 2012. September 12th of 2012, September 25th of 2012, October 10th of 2012. All flights are canceled. Even the most forgiving of beings might think eight is enough. Yeah, $175 is a lot of money. But they had each paid that up front, and so they booked again for this Friday. It just seemed like you get up there and it's quiet. Quiet, like the reaction from the now bankrupt Great American Balloon Company when they asked for their money back. I'm a very avid golfer. I take it out on the golf ball. <laughs> but I, it's frustrating. It's very frustrating. Annette, Helen, and all of the other Great American Balloon Company customers do have a chance to get their money back, although it's a small one. They can contact the company's liquidators and then wait in line with all the other creditors. Traditionally, though, those who are owed the most get paid first. In Madison, Adam Schrager, WISC News 3. We should also tell you multiple phone calls and emails to the Great American Balloon Company over the last two weeks have not been returned. The Better Business Bureau has received several consumer complaints about tickets not being honored by this company. Thanks to Annette and Helen who contacted us with their story. You can use our call for action hotline as well at 608-270-2833. It is back open on Friday. Plus, we're always open Mondays and Wednesdays. You can also report a problem online anytime through channel3000.com.